back to love, then uh, there's no need for that third match and second singles. China starting with intent, obviously, putting their two world number ones up, first of all, in the doubles, and that's how they've qualified yet to drop a game in this competition. Poland have had a slightly tougher time. Yeah, well made to work against uh, France. They uh, dropped the second rubber there. Only three games to love. Came through in straight games in both of the, the matches against Brazil. Three love, three love. And that means as well, by the way, that Brazil are currently uh, going to take on Austria on the other table here. So there could be plenty of noise inside this arena. So players will have to ensure they keep their focus in this team gold medal matchup. Well, you can hear Brazil, Brazil ring around the uh, Pavilion 3. You can often hear it even when Brazil aren't playing. The crowd really enjoying their table tennis this week. And China already at the table, already ready to start. Of course, defending champions. And I'm sure that anything less than a gold here today will be seen as a disaster for them. Well, Leilina as well is uh, really experienced. I mean, how many gold medals has she won? She took silver, though, this year, losing out to uh, Louis in the final of the uh, of the women's class nine singles. And, uh, she won gold in London in 2012 in the singles, gold in Beijing in the singles, and silver in Athens in the singles, and she's uh, won the, the team event also the last... 12 years, that's how dominant China have been. That's quite a CV there. And interesting you say that Leilina took the silver in class nine, losing to another Chinese athlete who doesn't even feature in this team event today, which just shows the incredible strength and depth that they have in para table tennis. I wonder how she's feeling, to be honest, having just won the gold, but yet doesn't doesn't feature in the team event. We go with uh, Lei, the, uh, the world number one, even though Louis beat her in straight games in that final. Kim uh, Yi, the uh, umpire for this one from Korea. There's just a uh, uh, two-minute warm-up. Yeah, with five golds to her name. One gold for Yang Jiang in 2012 as part of the team. She's got two silvers to her name. Silver here in 2016 in the singles and one silver in the singles class 10 four years ago. The Partika has won a number of golds as well. She's won four in total. She's won uh, the singles so event for the last 16 two, years in the Paralympic Games, won in Athens, Rio, Beijing, London, and here Poland. in Rio. Well, the well, it's not only incredible to be performing at the very highest level for that amount of time, but not only remaining in peak Australia physical condition, but you know, London, retaining the desire to keep performing and keep winning those titles is really quite special. Not too right. And, uh, wanting to try and claim a a gold for Poland in the team event, something that they haven't done before. Bronze in London, of course. But they've already gone one better here, of course. Both teams here guaranteed a medal, but you think you get to the gold medal match and you won't be happy to settle for silver. Yeah, exactly, and this one should be absolutely fascinating. As you say, the world number two, Partika, and the world number four, Peck, taking on the world number one, Yang Xian and Lei Lina. Both of them are world number one, of course. Uh, Lei is uh, a class nine, Yang a class ten, Partika class ten, and Peck is class nine. feeling each other out in these opening exchanges. Of 
both players have to alternate shots here. So there's lots of movement. Trying to key tactically where you go on the table to set your partner up. As you can see, two players just going down the middle. They don't want to open up the, the table too early. There's a big shot there from Yang. A nice start for China. Speed of play from these four players is something to behold. And by coordination and reaction time. Something that is really quite special. Oh, and right on cue. That is some shot from Yang. Onto the backhand in a flash. It's important that we get a few more points in this game. We don't want to be outplayed because it would be a real body blow. They'll be feeling that they are the underdogs. It's been a slow start. Mario there from Partika. There's just too many errors, really. Peck and Partika, they really haven't found their game. This is a nervous moment for all the players being involved in a gold medal matchup. This is well with Brazil playing in the other table. It's a vicious little serve, that one. Plenty of backspin, and it's seven game points for China. This one's well saved. It's forehand from Peck. A little bit of fortune, but there wasn't too much fortunate about that opening game from China on top throughout. And it is the favourites for gold who go up a game to love. And take the opening game 11 points to four in just four minutes. Pretty much a formality that for the Chinese, wasn't it? And I think there were some real nerves from Poland there, and they will need to settle into this match and not let the Chinese take that early lead again because they are so ruthless you know, throughout. Every class we've seen here. Yeah, they're yet to uh, to drop a match so far. They have dropped uh, two games. They dropped uh, a game in their second match against Croatia, and they also dropped uh, a game in their first match against Australia in the semi-finals. It'll be interesting to see here what the Polish team do. They were trying to be aggressive, but missing too often, and you just wonder whether they'll go down the middle of the table, go back to basics. The difficulty is for them is that both of these players, Yang and Lei, with such ability to dictate the play and dictate the point. And if they're too conservative, they're playing to their hands. So I think Peck and Partika know that they need to be positive, but they're almost trying to be too aggressive in the first game. So it has to be better in the second game from Poland, no doubt about that. Forehand moving backwards there, Yak, keeping it so low over the net, though. And a 
Touch put on the ball just to kick it away to. Bit of good luck there for Poland on that point, I think. But they'll take that any day. Let's just push long. So what she's trying to do, they neutralise the point. We go down the middle, go, try to just chisel the ball deep into the table. Stop this Chinese pair from dominating the rallies. It's a clever return though from Yang. Right into the corner. Right down the back of the ball. Enough topspin there. And again, when Poland are attacking, they're missing more often than not. This is a worrying start, really, for the European champions. We talked about the, the Chinese combination and the fact that they went with Lei over Liu. And maybe this is why. You just feel that Lei and Yang deadly combination they seem to be working together really well nice forehand from Yang on that occasion and not on the back level in this second game In terms of the team combinations, you never know. The Chinese might have chosen to put Yang Xian on because she did lose that gold medal match in the individuals to Natalia Partika, and they might think that that will just add an extra dimension to her yes, game and she'll be more aggressive. You certainly will uh, feel that she has a point to prove. Mm -hmm. Revenge over Partika. It comes to the party there. No pun intended. Super. Okay. Poland have a two-point lead in this second game. They've turned things around. There's a few more errors coming from the Chinese bats now. The noise in this arena. These four players really having to stay focused on what's going on on their table. There's a devilish bit of backspin on the ball from Yang. to the table how did she get that back look at this it's right into the body it has to improvise and then catches the edge I say that she deserves the luck having just got a bat on the ball Trying to get the back speed to generate the top spin, but just taking her off the ball momentarily. Big miss hit. Oh, it was great defense initially from Peck. Partika, though, spraying the forehand long, and China fighting hard in this game. I wonder if we'd see a response from Poland after that first game in particular, where they lost in just four minutes. They certainly have done. They've raised their game. You have to say Yang and Lei have dropped their level a touch. That will help China. Fought from Peck on the serve. And again, I love the variation from Peck and Partika. 
spins that they're putting on the ball and the combination working. Got two game points to level things up in this opening match of the team event. In the class is six to ten. That's a super backhand, and in truth, a wonderful game from Poland, who do indeed respond. Peck and Partika winning the second game to make it one game apiece by 11 points to eight in six minutes. Well, what a comeback from Poland. I mean, mentally speaking, it's not easy to come back from that early loss to uh, the defending champions, but they weren't phased by it at all, were they? Knew what they had to do. Yeah, and you have to say they stayed positive. I asked the question at the end of the first game as to whether they would change their tactics in terms of maybe just be a little more conservative. But, uh, and they've had the chance to go big on the forehand or the backhand. That's exactly what they have done. And you have to say Yang and Lei, they were a little bit concerned because they started missing more. So this one would be close. First game didn't look that way because China were dominant. Second game, though ensures that it's in the balance, one game apiece. So trying to have the serve in this third game. Fortune on that occasion for the Chinese. It's <laughs> a lovely combination. They're working the table really well, Poland. From one side to the other. Just a little sliced forehand from Peck up one line. And Partika finishing the point off with the inside out forehand. Oh, that's a wonderful backhand. So quick, and at the moment China struggling to pick when Partika is pulling the trigger. And they had barely gone onto the uh, table by the time that had gone past it. No doubt about it, it is Poland with the momentum here. Two world number ones, Yang and Lei, in a bit of trouble. One lead for Poland and a little look of despair from Yang. And for a slow start, it is Matika and Peck who've got on top of the doubles encounter. And you feel with the fact that Partika beat Yang in the final of the singles in the class 10. If that is a matchup in the singles in the team event. And if Poland can steal this doubles match, then well, they would almost be favourites, you would feel, to go on and take the gold. Mm, it's a tantalising prospect, isn't it? Mm, these are big moments in this team contest. I think it was that she's human. Hasn't made too many mistakes in the last uh, 10 or 15 minutes. The intensity of this match really increasing now after, like you said, a pretty slow start in the first game. There's a timeout called by Poland, who were 5 1 up. Missed the last three points, so China looking to just stop them, that momentum, and maybe looking to switch up their tactics too. Right in the balance, isn't it? One game apiece in this opening match 
of the team class six to ten gold medal match. With a narrow lead, five four in the third game. Coach directing a lot of energy and feedback towards Peck. And forget that she is just 18 years of age, appearing in her second Paralympic Games. Yeah, pretty cool, calm and collected, though, does Peck. I say, she's certainly not let Partika down in this opening match. She's a bronze medalist, Peck, so she's been in uh, pressure situations already these Paralympic Games. She's got experience too. She uh, picked up a bronze in the team event four years ago in London as a 15-year-old. In fact, it was a 14-year-old, I should say. She's a silver medalist from the World Championships in the team event in Beijing in 2014. And then looking to avenge that loss to China. They're doing a good job of it at the moment. Pouncing on it, just as we were saying about Peck and showing maturity. Not afraid to step up the table here, onto it in a flash. Not much bat movement, just taking it early, brushing over the ball. They really are working well as a, a duo, Partika and Peck. Yeah, they're looking to take the ball as early as possible and really rush the Chinese pair of Yang and Lei. And it really is interesting, isn't it, to see just how quickly the momentum can swing from one pair to the next once you get a run of a couple of points on the board. from China in this third game, but every time they do, back come the Chinese. These are big moments in this gold medal match. Oh, well, really clever serve, but it's going to be retaken. Just couldn't do enough, Peck. And this time, the Chinese are able to defend. Went really big on the forehand, but Yang was there. And read what the 18-year-old uh, was going to do. So eight points apiece. Couldn't get any closer. Oh, yes. This time, it's Poland's turn to counterpunch. Two points away from a two games to one lead. Well, he wouldn't want to pick a winner at this stage. Maybe just elected to take that a little too late. Ended up striking the ball below the table. And that's intelligent play from the Chinese, just undercutting the ball, making it difficult for the Polish team to attack. So who is going to have the first game point of this third game? Oh, what a rally. And it's brilliantly finished off by Partika. And it will be Poland with the first game point. That's a fabulous return. Not much margin for error. It was very deep in the table. And it draws the error. Running, 
will be China's turn to have a game point. Just didn't read the spin and the swerve on the ball there, Peck. China steal the game. They had to save a game point, and you just wonder how significant that game could be in the context of this team final. Yang coming to the fore with the inside in forehand up the table. And they win one of the tightest games you will see by 12 points to 10, and they are two games to one up on Poland. So China already back at the table. The umpire has called time. Poland still having their team talk, but China clearly keen to get on with things. If they win this game, they win the match. Poland just taking their time too, and after winning that last one, they'll just want to make sure they keep that momentum, they keep their confidence. Sorry, China winning the last one, but Poland pushing them close. Yeah, it's a bit of pill to swallow to drop that game. They offered so much in it, Martika and Peck. As you say, mentally, it's going to be tough for them to, to come back and put it behind them. But so many of the sporting greats say it's all about staying in the present, focusing on what you can affect. Game to start well for Poland in particular. As I say, after losing such a tight third, third game. Well, particular in your team, it must be just reassuring. Such a, a presence to the side of Peck. To guide the 18 year old here in these pressure moments. Absolutely, and Poland have every reason to feel confident, but they must be really anxious about the Chinese extending their lead, knowing that this will be the, uh, the end of the match if the Chinese do win this game. Oh, what a shot. Well, Peck has been struggling in the last five or ten minutes or so, but this will make her feel so much better. Just guided it up the line. Again, taking it so early. Flat batting it. Oh, that's so good, though, from Yang. Not only was she able to react to where Partika went with the backhand, she was able to get on top of it. And the speed that these players play with is just sublime.
from Partika. Those, those need to stop and stop sooner rather than later because it's China now who are in the ascendancy in this fourth game. And that one just clips the top of the net and goes long. And turning the screw are the two world number ones. Four point cushion in the fourth game. A long way back for Poland. I feel that this is the doubles match that they need to win. Partika, you would expect, has a good chance to beat Yang in the singles. Other than that, you'd expect China to win the other singles. And it gets better and better for China. The noise increases inside the Rio Centro Pavilion 3. As I say, Brazil playing on the other table. That's the third consecutive shot we've seen Partika send long, and I just wonder why the accuracy is, is suffering a bit now, and I do wonder whether it's the nerves kicking in, coming towards the business end of this game. So stay aggressive, though, knows that she can't sort of just roll the ball in because Yang and Lei have too many weapons. Again, China right at the front of the table, taking the ball so early, taking all the time away from Partika and Peck. And you feel that they're edging ever closer to picking up a valuable first match win in this team gold medal match. Yang Qian in particular is just so agile around the table. Fantastic range of movement. She's able to read the game as well so well. Anticipation skills, just something else. And that's been the issue for Partika and Peck. They've not been able to unsettle Yang more often than not in these rallies. It's a big, big strike from Lei. And it is five. Match points for China. And there's another strike to cap off an excellent performance from China. It looked a little worrying. They had to save that game point in the third game. But after doing that, they never really looked back. And China go one match up in this team gold medal match in the classes 6 to 10. And the defending champion's going to do it again. They've started well. They've got the doubles in the bag. There's Yang and Lei who have defeated Partika and Peck. 11 4, 8 11, 12 10, 11 5. So just confirmation of that three games to one win for China. Up next, it's a repeat of the singles final in the class 10. There's uh, Yang Xian who will take on Natalia Partika. China lead this gold medal match by one match or one rubber to love. Work to do for Poland.
So here we go. Gold medal match, match two, and the first of the individual rounds. Of course, it could be the last if China win this one. Won the doubles by three games to one, but Poland put up a fantastic fight. But this is a tantalizing prospect. We've got a repeat of the gold medal match, the class 10 gold medal match between Natalia Partika of Poland and Yang Qian of China. Partika winning the gold, the world number two, getting the better of the world number one. And the Chinese player will have a point to prove here. And of course, they're fresh off the, uh, the doubles table as well. Yang getting a bit of revenge there. And it was a superb performance by Partika in that gold medal match. Was able to win it in straight games to claim her fourth gold in the Paralympic Games. As I say, she uh, doesn't know what losing feels like in the singles of the class 10. Won it in uh, Athens 2004, won it in 2008 in Beijing. And defended her title again in 2012 in London. And coming into this one as the world number two. So maybe uh, expected to finally have that winning run broken. But uh, used her experience to claim a fourth straight gold. She is some player. She's one of the uh, world's best, of course. But uh, is a legend in the sport taking on uh, Yang Xian. This is a, uh, a tough one to call, really, because of that. But it's a must-win now for Poland, of course. Uh, if Yang, the world number one, can get the better of the world number two, then uh, well, it is China who claimed the gold in the team event. But what a prospect this will be, and there is no way that Partika will be letting Qian get away with this one. She'll want to take it to that third round. Of course, China defending champions. And they're already one step closer to defending that title. Poland are the bronze medalists, but experience certainly lies with the Chinese side. And that's who's going to stop the Chinese dominance. You always felt it was Poland who probably had the best chance of stopping China from winning the team gold hit. This one should be fascinating. It's uh, Yang to get this second match in the team classes six to ten final underway. Partika of Poland. In terms of their head-to-head, -head, it is uh, Partika who leads it. Five matches to zero on every match so far, including the one, of course, in the gold medal match in the singles. So the last meeting before the Paralympic Games was, did go the distance. It was Partika who won it 12-10. It was at the 2014 World Championships, so they haven't met each other all that often. And Yang in particular with Fushi is a far better player these days, being only 20 years of age. You can see they're just trying to counter punch, went big with the backhand, just nicking off the top of the net. Positive start there from Partika. Good aggressive play from Yang. Well, it is going to be a case of belief for her. As I say, lost the last five matches against Partika, including that 
big loss in the uh, gold medal singles. And that's a dominant point from Partika. Skyward from Yang, you can understand why. Nothing she could do there. Look at this forehand, just purring for Partika. Working the table from side to side. Rarity. Service error from Partika. Oh. We've uh, seen the attacking ability of Partika, but that time it's the defence. Yang threw absolutely everything at her in this rally. Not only able to get the ball back, Partika, but into the corner. I almost feel Yang Xian is in danger of just trying a little too hard. That is five game points to Poland. It's been a really impressive first game on this 27-year-old. Uh, can she close it out? She, she can, can indeed. <laughs> so uh, Poland fighting back. Remember, they're a match down in this uh, team encounter for the gold medal match. But they are a game up in the first singles. Partika taking the opening game by 11 points to five in five minutes. Players heading back to the table now for game two and psychologically speaking, so important for Partika to claim that first win for Poland after narrowly missing out on the doubles match. But can she keep that momentum going? deal with the speed of Partika. These types of exchanges have almost all been won by the pole. Both players competing with real intensity. And we are all square. A wondrous forehand. Four points in a row then for China. Really quick. 
quick on to the ball for the first one. The return a little short. Find our way back into the point there, Partika. Defence from Partika. And just couldn't find a way past it. Just kept asking the question. And finally, the forehand broke down. Just a tactically well played from Partika. Rolling up Yang into false security, just playing that slow ball backspin on the on it down the middle of the table, and Yang can't help but pull the trigger. Spin on the ball, it did take a little nick off the net, and that probably will change the flight of it for Yang. It's a monstrous backhand. Pretty simple with the pattern of play from Partika, from side to side. The power on her shots is just incredible, and when the ball is travelling at you at that speed, there's not really a lot your opposition can do about it. Well, that's the thing. I think Yang knows almost where the ball is going a lot of the time, but Partika just too quick. Powerful ground strokes. Too hot to handle, too often. Yang has done a good job in this second game of staying with her opponent. Doing another error. Just a reminder, if Yang is able to win this match, China win the gold in the team event. They are one match to love up. Just catches the back edge of the table. Bit of fortune for Partika. Look at that. Partika at seven, eight down. And the speed of attacking. So quick to pounce and get on top of the rally. Partika, just wonder about the belief for Yak. Still yet to take a game off. 
the Polish player. And the timeout called. Well, she's certainly done a lot better in this game than she did in the first. She's matching Partika point for point, but she needs to be clinical now and really believe that she can win this. Here's the situation. Partika taking the uh, first game comfortably, 11-5. This one right in the balance, though. There's the polder with a narrow margin um, and a narrow lead, 9-8. Yang taking some advice from her teammates there as well, who are at the minute just spectators. May well be called on for the next round, depending on how this one goes. But it must be frustrating to just sit and watch. Big point this one then. I always think uh, this is one of the fascinating aspects of table tennis, the fact that they can call the timeout and then they have a break and then they have to come back to the table and play such a significant point. Oh, and it's one that Yang is able to win. Did well to adapt to the net court initially, Partika. Pushes that forehand long. And it's Yang with a game point to level things up at a game apiece in this second match of the team gold medal match. Well, the nerves must be jangling for her at the minute. And what a point from Partika. Gutsy table tennis to be so aggressive. Put game point down. Oh, that is a bullet. Saved the game point, now has one of her own. When can you miss it with that backhand? Partika extends her lead. And is the pole who takes the second game. Had to save that game point, but kept her nerve, stayed aggressive. Poland looking good now to level this encounter up and make it one match apiece. It's a really healthy lead for the 27-year-old. She's taken the first game 11-5 and taken the second game 12-10. Players ready now for game three. If Partika wins this one, she wins the match and she levels things up in this gold medal contest. Vital for Zhang to get a win here. With China already having developed that lead at the beginning. It's now the momentum has swung to Poland. China would be favourites for the next match, but you just never know. They don't want it to go down to... A one-match shootout. Well, that doubles was so significant for China. They were able to get that win. 
Third game, remember Poland had the opportunity to go two games to one up. China who won three games to one. Artika though, you feel her experience and the fact that she's won five straight games now at these Rio Paralympics against Yang. Strong favorite to come through and level this encounter up. to get that first ball back, but he's always struggling. Again, it's another positive point from Partika. And Yang looking to open up the court early on, but whenever that has been the case, it's been Partika who's been able to control the points. She's been the player who's been making Yang move more. And Partika as well, just so strong. So much power behind those shots. I just wonder whether Yang has gone a little here. You can understand it because Partika has pushed and shoved and almost bullied her from left to right time and time again. And pretty solid on defence too. It's a little better though from Yang. Taking the anger out on the ball. a bit of momentum, I'll take it. Doesn't want to have to uh, take a foot off the, the gas. It certainly has taken a foot off the gas. Maybe just thought she was home and hosed at 6-1. Four points in a row for Yang. In this third game. Back in the balance. Well, you can never afford to be complacent, can you, at this level? And especially, especially not against such formidable opposition. Yeah, and I think that's why I've kind of just called a, a timeout here, just to maybe calm things down and reassess. Not too much being said to Partika. Of course, uh, the fact that she is a four times gold medalist, she knows what to do in these situations. So much experience. And still in a good position, of course. Two games to love up, and 6-5 up in the third. Well, the coach looking calm anyway, and so she should be. Partika playing some excellent table tennis, but really can't afford to let Yang back into this one. to win. Soft error, that one from Yak. She's put in a rock and a hard place because if she just tries to go defensive, then Martika will get on top of the rallies, no doubt. She needs to 
make sure that Partika is the player who looks to win this one. Just hand victory to her. A little bit of fortune there for uh, Partika. Back spin on the ball and it lands right on the edge of the table. Nothing Yang could do about that. Oh, noise. Rio oh, Central Pavilion 3. One of those uh, Brazilian players in action on the other table. Those table tennis players, they're used to coming up with noise and action from other tables. Oh, probably not this amount of noise. Stretching, Can't control the lunged forehand. One point away from making it one match apiece. In this world, in this women's team, this is six to ten, gold medal encounter. Three match points for Partika. And there it is. That's six straight games for Partika against Yang on the singles table. And having that game point in the second game. But other than that, it was a really dominant performance. From the four times gold medalist Natalia Patika. And after China won the doubles, it is Poland who win the first singles. And this one is going to do a decider. Between Poland and China, it'll go to a second singles. Poland taking the first singles. 11-5, 12-10, 11-7. Great performance from Partika. She defeats Yang in straight games. So this is the situation. As I say, it was Yang and Lei who uh, won earlier. 3-1 in the doubles. Partika responding for Poland to make it one match apiece. And we'll go down to the decider, Lei against Peck. And that will decide who takes gold in this women's team. Class 6-10. Gold medal matchup. One all then before Lei takes on Peck. On paper, of course, this does look like a much more straightforward contest for China. Lei Lina, silver in class nine here, gold in the London teams. She also got silver in the singles in London, silver in Beijing, and silver in Athens. Sorry, I'm mistaken. Gold in the singles in London and in Beijing. So an incredibly decorated player, still only 28 years of age. And she takes on the 18-year-old Carolina Peck, who is actually playing in her second Paralympics, took the bronze in London, but this will be quite a daunting prospect for the pole, I imagine. But she will be in a good position. The momentum is with Poland now after that impressive display by Partika in the singles, but so much pressure on both of these players now in this final deciding match. And of course, uh, you have to say that Lei is the, the favourite. These two have uh, met on six occasions previously. And it has been Lei who has won every single one of those. And Peck has only been able to win two out of 20 games against her opponent. But those two games did come in the last two meetings. So she has got better and better. And of course, you feel those players who are getting better and better as she gets older and older because she's still only 18. And most of the meetings that she had against uh, Lei in the past came in 2012, so all of four years ago when she was just 14. And she looks nice and relaxed here anyway and looks like she's really enjoying the occasion, which of course is so important. Why wouldn't you enjoy being part of this gold medal match? 
at yeah. the Paralympics. Again, has nothing to lose against Leigh. All the pressure will be on the Chinese shoulders of uh, the 28-year-old, which is so experienced in these gold medal matches at Leigh. Five gold medals throughout her career. And of course, a silver medal added to that long list this time around in 2016 in Rio. As for Peck, she does uh, have a bronze medal to her name four years ago as a 14-year-old as part of the Polish team. Picked up team bronze, but they're hoping for gold today. They're hoping to stop China from winning yet another team title. Of course, China have been so dominant, not just in able body tennis, but table tennis, but also in uh, para table tennis. They've got 12 gold medals already at this meet in 2016 in the table tennis. They've already got one gold today. Yes, just so earlier on, wasn't it? Yeah. They'll be hoping to equal the achievements of their compatriots in classes four to five. Of course, they've had a, a fabulous Paralympics, China. They topped the medal table. They've got 98 golds in total. Will it be gold or will it be silver, though, this time around? Uh, so they is the favourite here, but it's not beyond the realms of possibility that the world number four beats the world number one. These two uh, class nines. And with, with the contest poised at a match apiece, it really is a tantalizing prospect. This final round. Incidentally, Poland have also had a, a decent Paralympic Games. They're 13th in the uh, medal table. Seven golds, 18 silvers, and 11 bronzes. It's a lot of occasions where they've had to settle for silver, hoping. To win the gold, though, today, it'll be Lay to get this deciding matchup in the uh, women's team classes 6 to 10 underway. It's the 18 year old Carolina Peck. Important to get a, a good start here for the 18-year-old. Give myself some belief that she can beat Lay. He was able to deal with the cauldron that was the bronze medal match against uh, Danielle Ryan from Brazil. Peck, obviously, she had uh, not only to try and beat her opponent, but also the, the fans in the uh, Rio Centro Pavilion 3. So she's shown already at these Paralympic Games that she can deal with pressure situations. She's made a super start here, moving up Massive forehand set up by the tricky serve. Bit of side spin on the ball. Not sure when Ale picked the serve. Bit of a timid return. Peck all over it. Tension around this arena is almost palpable. It's gone from being raucous early on and the crowd almost silent. I think they know exactly what's at stake in this match. reasons for that is that that Brazilian match has finished. That's why it's uh, a lot quieter, adding to the tension. Good start for Poland. few nerves in the system for Leia, as I say, the pressure on her. Just 
settle for Silva this time around. In row in the singles. Oh, that's a better point. So even more pressure on her shoulders because she was included in this team final ahead of Liu, who was the player who beat her in the singles final. Maybe just a, a few nerves early on, but that point will help settle her down. Vicious serve. Back spin on the ball for Peck to control, but it's still the pole who's in a good position. It's too sharp from Lay. Working her way back into this opening game after a very slow start. Really well played from Peck. Didn't go too big, just caressed it into the corner. And it is four game points for the 18 year old. The world number four. Takes the first game off the world number one. Poland, now two games away from winning the gold medal and upsetting China in the final of the women's team's classes six to ten. Peck takes the first game by 11 points to six. So here we go in game two, and you just wonder what the Chinese camp have had to say to Lei after going a game down in that opening encounter. Of course, so much pressure on her shoulders. She is the last hope they have of retaining, of defending their gold from London. It was a very slow start. You feel like she struggled to deal with the nerves. She won five goals before, but. Didn't really look that, didn't impose herself on the match early on. That was the more positive. He's up a game to love. We're going to see a fight back here from Lay. Have a serve once more, though, from the 18 year old. Just looking at the top of the net, set the point up. But Find the table with the forehand. Oh, that's a sumptuous forehand. So early, just driving it up the table.
struggling to find a rhythm. I give a lot of credit to Peck with the variation she's shown with the different spins. Yeah, at the moment, struggling to pick what's coming over the table next. Terrific deep serve. Some encouragement from the Polish bench. Knows that that was a chance, an opportunity. I'm well aware that her opponent is probably feeling the nerves, but it's a different prospect when you go into a lead. Suddenly the psychology changes, the pressure onto your shoulders. There's no doubt about it, Lay has not found her A game. A nervous final match at the moment. And that's a super forehand from Peck. at all at the moment, Lei. These are worrying times for China. That's another excellent serve. She's really put that serve to perfection. Such variety. Lei doesn't know whether she's coming or going. And you just wonder whether the Chinese coach might call a timeout at this stage just to disrupt Peck's momentum. Two points though for late. Cut the tension with a knife. Might not be the highest quality of table tennis you will see, but it's certainly dramatic. And the 18-year-old Peck has got three game points to go two games to love up. Take the first. The next two serves, remember, are on the Chinese bat. See what she was trying to do, just brush it up the line. Didn't get enough topspin on the ball. Oh, what a backhand from Peck. And what a game from Peck. And Poland are a game away from taking the gold medal in the women's team classes 6 to 10 final. Well, we didn't see this coming, did we, after China was so dominant in the doubles match and then Poland came roaring back through Partika and now Peck. Such pressure on those young shoulders, but she is doing Poland proud. She is leading by 11 points to eight. Two games to love after that 11 points to eight win in the last. Almost, almost ready to go then in game three. This could be the final game of this match. Poland with one hand already on that gold medal. China with a lot of work to do. She's 
the world number one for a reason late and you would expect a response from the 28 year old it hasn't been the best paralympics for her to settle for silver in the singles Number five golds she's won in the past this is going to be absolutely fascinating with whether peck can deal with the pressure of beating the world number one for the first time in her career in a gold medal match at the Paralympic Games. Oh, that's nice. Almost has to try not to think about the situation and just play each ball as it comes, but that's so much easier said than done. Again, taking it early, just nudging it up the line. And as Lay suddenly found her game, far better defence from the Chinese player there. And yeah, this game has begun with a real frenetic pace, hasn't it? I think both knowing exactly what's at stake here, keen to get the job done. <laughs> it's been a Peck who's gone in front early in the previous two games. So this time she's gonna have to try and come from behind in the third game. Oh, look downwards there from Peck. Drawn into that forehand error. Monstrous forehand this time, makes no mistake. So much topspin on the ball, it was a really heavy strike. Those errors lay. Walking a tightrope right now. Yeah. An intelligent serve from Peck, who is reacting pretty well to these pressure situations. Still putting different spins on her serve, varying it in terms of where she's hitting to the forehand or the backhand of Lay, who then calls a timeout. who's playing the majority of the positive table tennis. Work to do in the world of so this is the situation that it's uh, one match apiece, this the decider to decide who gets the gold medal in the women's team event, classes six to ten. Poland who are looking good. There are two games to love up in that six, eleven, eight. They won the first two. They certainly responding in this third game, but it was up by three points. Now it's just by the one. And Peck just looking so composed, isn't she? She hasn't looked shaken at all. Not giving away any kind of emotion. Just looking completely at ease with what she has to do. As I say, that experience from picking up the bronze in the singles where she played a, a Brazilian player, Daniel Raun. And won a, a, a thriller in the fifth game there. So she has been able to win in pressure situations. I'll draw upon that experience here, no doubt. But it's not the best of starts for her since the, uh, the timeout was called from late. It's done the trick for the Chinese player. Re establishes the three point cushion. <laughs> That's 
It's a wonderful forehand. It's been the shot that has really hurt Lay time and time again. The inside out forehand. It's a one point game. And it's now level. And Poland are three points away from the gold medal. Momentum with Peck. Play from Lay. Such quick reactions to fire the backhand on the diagonal. Oh, yes. Oh, Peck threw absolutely everything behind the forehand, but Lay once more able to react. And it's two game points to keep China alive in this women's team gold medal match. That timeout was certainly. Certainly called at the right moment, but Poland within one. Oh dear. Did well to deal with the spin on the serve lay, got the ball back in play. Let's see if that forehand error from Peck. China are still alive and they can still win gold. Women's team classes six to ten final. Hanging on though a little. You just wonder how significant that game could be. It's Lay who takes the third game by 11 points to nine, but it's Peck and Poland who lead by two games to one. Players back at the table for the fourth game. China blowing this contest wide open. Lei winning that last game, absolutely vital. And we can see, we'll see whether she can stay in this match or whether Peck can close it out for Poland. Peck started uh, a little slowly after going two games to love up in the third game. He was always chasing Lei in that third game, nearly got it back. Losing at 11-9 in the end. Make a, a better start here, of course, in his fourth game. Oh, yes. She's starting to find her rhythm. Really nervous and shaky first couple of games from late. Been able to deal with the attacks from Peck far better. Pushing that backhand up the line. to the corner and the backspin doing the job. Drawing the error from Lay. Ah! Just missed a, a few forehands recently, Peck.
Oh, what a wonderful forehand from Peck. It's been a little hit and miss, but that one couldn't have been any better. Pretty flat, right into the corner. And there's a two-point cushion in this fourth game. Never beaten her opponent before. Is today going to be the day? And with it, will Poland take gold? Oh. is personified, though, from late. So much experience at this level. I don't know that she wants to make Peck try and win this match, not give it to her. Test out the 18-year-old in these vital moments but it's a fine return right into the corner once more edging ever closer to goal and a clever serve again just hasn't been able to pick the return too often late Martin gets a little taller and a little larger. It's another brilliant forehand into the corner. Poland are two points away. Matika on her feet. She seems to believe. Does Peck believe? Well, it's so quick, wasn't it? Again, though, trying to be the aggressor. Trying to stay in the zone, not think about the situation she's in. Showing such composure for an 18-year-old. And it's another brilliant forehand. And Poland have four gold medal points. Well, what a moment this is for Peck. Four match points. A chance to take gold for Poland. Poland She's take gold. It. Would you believe it? China's dominance in the women's team classes six to ten is over. Thanks to that woman there, 18-year-old Carolina Peck took bronze in the team event in London, took bronze in the Rio singles, and now she adds gold to her collection, along with Natalia Partika, gold medalist here in Rio as well. And they have exceeded all expectations by taking the title from the Chinese, who've been so dominant in recent years. They took gold in the London teams, gold in Beijing, gold in Athens, but can only manage single here. Silver for China. I could never beaten the world number one late in six previous meetings, but she's in seventh heaven. What a time to get the first win against Lei. And what a performance it was from the world number four. Carolina Peck wins in four games, 11-6, 11-8, 9-11, 11-6. Ensures the European champions become the Paralympic champions. And they take gold against a, a shell-shocked China. What a performance from Peck. Well, she's some player. So much pressure on young shoulders. She was able to deal with that pressure in the bronze medal match against the Brazilian. And she's been able to deal with the pressure once more. Rising to the occasion, Poland win gold. Quite unbelievable. So there you have it. Well, you have to say China were favourites coming into the event, coming into the tournament. But despite having two world number ones in their team, they come up short. It's Poland who win by two matches to one. Confirmation of the result there. Poland winning both singles, 